I got it. I got it. Let's go. Let's go. It's four o'clock in the morning, and I think it's time to get up and go have a shower. I haven't showered in a few days and I feel so disgusting. I should have showered yesterday. <laughs> Gross. So I think there's a truck stop around here somewhere. I'm gonna go see if, they, if they're open 24 hours and go get myself a shower. Oh, I feel so gross. I'm hoping today is the last day for this damn dash cluster. Please, just, please stop. Please. Thank you. <laughs> oh, that fog's on the inside. Better turn some heat on here. Okay, so I found a truck stop here. Like an actual truck stop. It's just outside of Quebec. It's 16 minutes. We're gonna go see if they got a shower. We slept at Walmart last night and there's a couple of other campers here. It was nice and quiet. Good morning. You guys have showers? Shower? Tower? No. Pardon me? Tower. Tower. No. Okay. Awesome, thank you, sir. He didn't really speak English, but he did understand me, and he was really great with just doing gestures. So when he came to cost of the shower, he was like $6. And then when we came in here uh, to the bathroom area, he was just like, you when, you, when you go, you go out that door. So I understood. He said it all in French, but I, but I understood it. Anyway. Let's have this much needed shower. Oh crap, that was amazing. Six bucks. I'll take that. That's probably the cheapest truck stop shower I've had. Cool old bridge that you guys seen in yesterday's video. <laughs> so stoked to be. Oh, what a view! Just good timing there, Dash Cluster. So it's supposed to be here by the end of the day today. It's still on its way, but has... Really? I know what you're thinking, bro. Dad, do something about that binging. It just won't stop. Oh. Okay. Package isn't in yet. So we, we, I've been refreshing this thing all morning. We gotta go find something to do because I'm going stir crazy waiting. Oh, is that my package? Is that my package? That one? Ah, uh, but this digging's driving me absolutely insane. I'm gonna find this thing. There's another FedEx van, maybe it's in there. There's another FedEx van, maybe it's in there. So I think I've come to the right place. I'm pretty sure this is where all those trucks are coming. Oh, I got it. I got it. Let's go. Let's go. Look what we got. Let's hope this thing works. All of it. We're about to find out. All right, let's open her up.
came with business cards. All my gauges are sitting where they should be. I haven't seen them sit normal well <laughs> in a very long time. So let's uh, put this precious thing back in right now. Go down here without falling off. I hope this is the end of the madness. Okay, I don't remember what screws are needed. Okay, so I didn't put anything back together here, so we should just be able to rip all this stuff right out. I should slow down, man. I'm being impatient here. <laughs> I'm like, so want this thing to be in and beeping over. Okay, breathe for a minute. So this has to go into first. Get this out. Okay. One dash board out of the way so these things are actually really easy to get in and out the hardest part actually is snap unsnapping your giant dashboard because you you know you have to pull on it in a few places to get some of the snaps out so you get scared about breaking the actual dash okay so I think I gotta get this shift out of the way again super nervous okay dash clusters out I've never had a van failure be so annoying before this whole process has just been frustrating should we try it now or put the dashboard back together before we try it are you guys ready? Are you ready? If this goes sideways, man, I'm going to lose it. All right, let's uh let's plug in my meet my ODB meter here. Okay, I gave everything on here a full erase so we can start fresh. Let's start it, put on my seatbelt. But the ABS one is definitely, because when we put the new differential in here, uh, for some reason it lost connection with the new differential with this computer system. So inside of my van, when we did the lift kit, in order to put in a rear locking differential, I had to buy a Sterling differential. I think it's out of an F350 pickup and I don't remember what year. So I think there was, um, I don't know if it just didn't plug into the rear end or something like that, but that's the only one that's on. I'll give it a good drive and we'll find out. You know how long that binging has been going on? I've been trying to edit it out of my videos as much as I can, but it's hard because it's just, it was constant. And I sure I'm glad that I got it done. The reason why I held off on getting it fixed for so, so long is because of the downtime, because I didn't want to take this great big cross Canada adventure that I'm on and sit parked like we have been. It's been okay. I'm glad I got it fixed though. But uh, anyway, I had to borrow some tools to get this job done. You're going to be pretty happy when we get in there, buddy. Yes, you are. I had, I was missing one tool, so I had to borrow these. I just happen to know somebody who has quite the little tool shed inside of their van. Not only did I get my dash cluster back, 
I got my girlfriend back too. Hi, Hi Emmy. Thanks for letting me use the tools. Welcome. This, this girl's got all the tools. I know you got. You seem to have all the ones that I'm missing, which is mm, great. It's perfect. You look comfy there. Yes, I am. Here's the name of the company that did my dash cluster repair. Pretty simple. Dashboardinstrumentcluster.com. There's their information. They're in Toronto, and this whole experience was rather, rather simple. You pull the dashboard out, send it to them. They send it back when it's done. The only thing you have to keep in mind is the problem that I have is that as soon as you remove the dash cluster, it disconnected the electrical circuit that allows your vehicle to charge your battery while you drive. And the problem with that is your starting battery will die within a day, without a doubt within a day, and then you won't be able to drive your vehicle. So it needs the dash cluster to complete the electrical circuit to start your vehicle every day so keep that in mind i luckily found that one of the uh, the auto wrecker which didn't work obviously but it did complete the charging system so that might be an option for you too is to grab do what i did grab a used one from the auto wrecker and uh just to get you by until you get your factory one back and that company did tell me that repairing your actual one that is in your vehicle is the way to go because having a dash cluster from another vehicle, there is a very low chance it's gonna work. My RPMs look like they're working. How are the RPMs and the speed? Everything looks normal. Oh, this is awesome. So yeah, RPMs drop down exactly where they need to be. This is so good. It has been a very long time, guys. Probably like a year since I've seen all my cluster stuff work. It's been a complete mess for the longest time. Come on, really? Hey, the works is normal. This is great. Cruzy, don't be sad, bro. Oh, buddy, you don't have to be sad about it. It's okay, buddy, you still got me, bro. It's okay, Cruzy. It's okay, buddy. Hey, I'm pretty sure that we will survive without that beep. Hey, you gonna miss it? Are you gonna miss it? <laughs> Sick, are you serious, Dad? <laughs> are you serious? I'm not gonna miss that beep. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> yeah, stop judging me, Cruz. I think I might miss it. I I kind of I kind of I kind of uh, I kind of started to like it after a while. <laughs> it's gonna be weird because that thing has been in my life for a long time. That that annoyance. <laughs> I got Emmy. She'll be my beep from now on. <laughs> oh, this is gonna change how we travel. Let me tell you. So. I'm gonna have to go and see, uh, look in deeper into that uh, ABS sensor light. But I know the last time I was something to do with my rear differential and uh, it should read, maybe it just needs to be plugged in. I, I don't know, I've never, I don't even know. Maybe that's it. Maybe we just didn't plug it into the back when we put the new differential back in there. Who knows? But all I gotta say, as our travels from now on, both you and me don't have to listen to that noise anymore that we can just travel around, have fun, and remove the annoying beep out of our life. So thank you to the Dash Cluster Company for getting that thing fixed for me. And now I'll know if I'm speeding. I'm a slow driver, but it's gonna be cool. Gas gauge works, speedometer works, RPM works. 
Now when I get that oil change and they ask me to rev it up to 2000 RPM and hold it there for 30 seconds, I'll know what 2000 RPM is because for the longest time he's like, can you rev it at the 2000? I'm like, Beep, put my foot on the gas. I'm like, guessing, guessing, because I never knew. That thing has been dying a very slow death over the last year. Anyway, guys, <laughs> we're done. Tomorrow's my birthday, which means when you guys come back for the next video, we'll be downtown, that big, amazing, beautiful city of Quebec. There's so much amazing history down there. It literally feels like we're in Europe or somewhere like way overseas. Nope, we're right smack dab in uh, one of the coolest cities in Canada. And that I will honestly say, that was the words that came out of my mouth last time was Quebec was, there's no other place like it. Anyway guys, come back tomorrow for that one and see what kind of shenanigans that I get up to for my 48th birthday. Till tomorrow. <laughs> see you guys.